graduation day for a special group of people. Despite being blind or visually impaired, they have recently completed a course in computer use. For years, people with similar disabilities around the world were deprived of the benefits brought about by digital technology. Now computers can literally speak, making them accessible to those who can't see. In Ethiopia, in the Horn of Africa, for example, more than 500,000 people are blind. Millions of others are living with varying degrees of partial loss of sight. To help the blind and the visually impaired take advantage of computer know-how and skills, the Adaptive Technology Center for the Blind was established in Addis Ababa four years ago. The general manager of the center is Tamiru Evnitu. This technology is uh, new for our country and uh, many blind people are using it nowadays in their office and schools and uh, they are in accessing information independently, uh, reading and writing. With support from the International Telecommunication Union, ITU, the center acquired new computers and adaptive devices such as voice synthesizers and braille printers. The head of the ITU Regional Office for Africa is Brahima Sanu. It's part of the framework of our activities, the framework of our pilot projects to actually help and show to the whole community worldwide how information technologies can be used today. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, provided funds for training. 34 blind people have been trained in the use of the new technology. One of them is 37-year-old lawyer Metemku Johannes. This technology gave me uh, an access that I didn't have before to internet and a lot of other information. And also it, make, it made me self-supportive. Temeskin Muleta is also blind. He has been employed by the Ministry of Mines for 21 years. He is already using the adaptive technology he acquired through the training. His job has been made easier and his productivity enhanced. Given the chance, the blind and visually impaired can play a more constructive role in the development of their countries. The International Telecommunication Union is making a concerted effort in the drive to ensure that information and communication technologies are available and easily accessible so that everyone can become productive members of the information society.